Men want you to believe that abuse is all about his wild emotions, that he has anger issues. It's actually not. Women are not getting abused because men are angry or can't deal with their emotions. We are getting abused because abusive men have a serious issue with entitlement. This sense of entitlement is what produces the anger in the first place. It is entitlement that creates the double standard, one for him and the other for you. He can lay around drinking beer and watch sports on TV while calling you lazy. He can sleep around whenever he likes and then become jealous at the drop of a hat. He can buy an expensive sports car and then go through your dollar store purchases with a fine tooth comb. At the individual level, entitlement can lead men to believe that they're entitled to certain privileges, opportunities, or rewards without putting in the necessary effort or work. It is the sense of entitlement which leads to a lack of accountability. It is the entitlement that leads men to feel that they have a right to your time, attention, and affection without reciprocating those same feelings or putting in the necessary effort to maintain a healthy relationship. On a societal level, entitlement can contribute to systemic inequality and injustice. When men feel entitled to certain privileges or power, they're able to use their positions of power to oppress others, particularly women in marginalized groups. This can perpetuate a cycle of oppression in which those with power continue to exert their influence over those without. That is why we have got to stop blaming the abuse on out-of-control emotions and narcissistic personality disorder. It's time we stop saying, he's a bad apple, and start looking at what's wrong with the barrel. Entitlement is a systemic problem, and it needs a systemic answer. Entitlement is not going to go away until we see it for what it is, get mad about it, and ensure through mass action that this does not continue to the next generation of girls. For real.